So on this do-it-yourself portion of Apocalypse Auto, we're going to show you how to properly use seafoam in your carbureted engine. And we're going to be using my 1985 AMC Eagle with the 4.2 liter inline 6 motor. We got this thing off a farm in Darby, Montana, and it hadn't drove in six years. So we hobbled it together and kind of got it running, but it was rocking really bad, shooting a lot of smoke and stuff out of the exhaust. And anytime you gave it any sort of gas, it would sputter out and die. So we figured the best thing to do would be to clean it out with some sea foam and see where that took us. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start your car and let it warm up for 10 or 15 minutes. And then you take your golden gift from the gods, sea foam, slowly pour it down the carburetor and this thing will start to smoke really bad and backfire. But that's just the sea foam doing its job cleaning out all the extra junk that's inside your motor. And so after pouring about a third of the can into your carburetor, you want to give it one big last glug until your motor chokes out and dies. So after pouring the sea foam in your carburetor and letting it choke out and die, you want to let it sit for about five minutes. Not ten, but five. After letting it sit for a while, you fire this thing back up and it'll just be smoking like crazy. And then eventually, after all that's cleared out, you want to take it for a nice spirited drive and you should notice a difference immediately. But when we did this to my Eagle, it didn't want to start. Every time I tried it, it would crank and crank and it just wouldn't fire up. So I decided to pull one of the spark plugs out and check it out. And yeah, sure enough, the spark plug was all fouled out. And this is the reason why my engine didn't want to run. So after replacing all six of my spark plugs, I jumped behind the steering wheel and gave this thing a turn. And it started right up. Oh, that's cool that it started. So after letting this thing smoke out for a little while, it was time to take it for a drive. But the first thing I had to do was steal one of the tires off of my Pontiac because the Eagle had a flat. this thing out onto the road this thing was running great I got it up to about 65 miles an hour which I'm positive is the fastest this Eagle has gone in about six years but these things aren't meant to be highway cruisers they're four-wheel drive and so therefore I had to take it off-road
So if you guys have any further questions about how to use seafoam, post them down in the comments below and I'll make sure to get back to you. And if you want to check out some of our other videos, here's a few to choose from. And if you like what we're trying to do on this channel, go over to our Patreon account and consider donating us some money. It would be much appreciated. Until the next time, from all of us here at Apocalypse Auto, thank you so much for watching.